This is my tracker. Somebody asked me how I draw it. Okay, I sketch it out first. I always, always, always do it in pencil first. Okay, I actually have a little set of written notes here so that I can tell you. <laughs> so, I have a square in the middle and a square around the outside. Okay, now I know that I need to come in one square from the top and the bottom to get decent sort of size. Okay, so I come in one square from the top and one square from the bottom. Then I divide, I've, I've drawn it in a pencil, you can't see it, but there's like a dot there to tell me where the outside of the corner of my outside square is, and a dot there to tell me where the corner of my inside square is. I then join up the corners, okay, because they are easy. If you've done it right, they will follow on the lines. Now I track um, 11 things. I think it is. Is that including the date or not? Hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I'll track 11 things and I also have a box for the date around the outside just because it makes it easier for me. So my inside square is 13 squares from the bottom of the page and from the top of this page. So you count 13 squares, draw your line, 13 squares, draw your line. Okay. My inside square is 10 squares wide. I do not count the gap in the middle. So you've got one, two, three, four, five squares there, and one, two, three, four, five squares there. Okay, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> and then I count from the inside square, I count 12 out to get to my outside square. I'm really hoping I'm explaining this, I'm probably not. Okay, so five squares from the middle, is the edge of your inside box, yeah? Then another 13 squares, this is if you're tracking, uh, 12 squares is if you're tracking 11 things and you want another box for your date. So if you need 12 rows, okay? You want more than that, I would have to redraw it and recalculate it. This is to do 12 things, although I do 11 plus a date. So you go five squares will do your inside and then another 12 squares to do your outside. I don't draw those lines yet, because I've got little niches on there to tell me when to draw. Now, to get equal lines, which are these lines, now your corner, that it should run on the dots if you've done it right, okay? This is going on the basis that your, um, that your books are, I've got a template here somewhere and I don't know what I've done with it. I think it's something like 28 by 36. I'll put it away. This is going on the basis that you have 26 wide, 26 boxes wide, and I think it's 38 deep. Yeah. So going on the basis that you're 26 that way and 38 that way. Okay, this is how I draw it. So then what you do is you need to divide it up. I do nine columns this way, nine columns that way. All right, so the outside square is every, I go every four squares, nice and easy, okay? Because 38, take away two is 36, divided it up by nine, and it, it works out that, yeah, it's every four squares. Trust me, I've measured it a gazillion times. The inside square, is about every one and one third squares. So you kind of have to eyeball it, all right? So you line up your ruler and then just draw your line. It's as simple as that, really. When your pen works, like so. always always draw it out in pencil and I count a gazillion times over but I draw um, these lines first because then it's easy to see my pencil marks <laughs> and even I still make mistakes repeat that 
on the other side okay so this is this is your side repeat it on the other side so you have what looks like a fantastic weird starburst type thing okay now we need to do the bottom the outside instead of being every four is now every four and a quarter okay inside it's still every one and a third so it's it's you know you, you kind of are eyeballing it because it's very very hard to get that exactly but I just put a little niche in where I think it might be right and then go for it now the way I personally do it is that I use that middle bit okay so you do have an extra day there all right so you've got nine there nine there nine there which obviously takes you up to 27 then i use this side to write what my chores are i just divide this up depending on how many days in a month there are whether there's 28 29 30 31 so there's 31 days in may i believe yes am i right January, February, March, April, yeah, 31 days of me. So, I need four. So, I did the same deal across here. One and a quarter on the outside and one on one third on the inside. Although I wasn't quite as exact. So that's your columns. Now all you've got to do is draw all your other lines in. Don't forget, when you're doing it, you do not go beyond your diagonal, your last diagonal lines, otherwise you'll be cutting into the next week. So watch. So we're going to start off by doing the inside box, which takes you from there to there. Okay, then you come out to the next set of dots. And again, work from line to line. So as you can see, I'm making sure I do not go over this diagonal line here. Because that's my corner to make my box. I might do it on like a smaller scale next month. But then I figure, well, what the hell? It looks pretty at the end of the month, doesn't it? <laughs> nope. I've run out of ruler. So you just keep going in the same way right up until the last outside edge now the other way to find out if you have actually done this correctly is that when you draw your horizontal lines they should meet up with your vertical lines so if you watch this is following the dot grid in your notebook now okay done it right every single line will meet up oh and believe you me I've it's taken me four or five months to get this right because I've put you know too many lines in in on one side and had it wonky and oh yeah there you go so as long as it meets exactly at the corner you know you've done it right all right And you just keep going all the way around. If you're finding it hard to judge where your lines sort of stop because obviously your pen's covering the dot grid, use the rest of your page. Line your ruler up with the dots that you're not using. Okay. There you go, and that is what you should end up with. Now, I'm going to need to draw lines across that middle bit because this is going to be my extra set of boxes because I've got 9, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 
Now, if this was a 30 day month, I wouldn't bother, but I am going to use that as my um, device bit. There you go. Now, what you do is you write your dates around the outside. And then what you do is you write your chores in there as to, uh, you know, in line with each box, all right? So you can, if you want, join up that box to make it a little bit easier. Hopefully you can see the dot grids. So you write on that line, your chores, just go up on each line and it will line up with your columns and this side. I write my chores in back in order that they should get done during the day. So the last thing that goes on here is like my night face cream and um, my hand treatment. Okay, and the first thing up the top here is my day face cream because that's the first thing I tend to ch check off for the day. All right, it's just a little hint, you might find that easier. I hope you found that helpful. <laughs> I hope you found that quick um, snippet of the video showing you my tracker um how i make my tracker useful um i've actually clipped it out of my plan with me video from may um i just thought it might be useful uh, as a standalone video so i hope you found it helpful uh, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up uh also we like comments if you leave a comment it will get a like a love or a written reply click the book and you'll be subscribed and if you hit the bell you'll be notified youtube willing when i upload new content thank you so so much for watching i appreciate your time <laughs>